580 drive from ABB. Um, I'll just give a little bit of background overview of Proax uh, before we get started and a little on myself as well. So Priya, if you could advance the slides along, you've got control. Mm. I'm trying. Okay. As Priya said, guys, my uh, background, I've been with Proax for just over yes. five years now. I am a safety certified yes. uh, machine specialist, PUV certified. Um, and so my mandate at Proax is to uh, help you with all of your safety needs. And I do this across Canada for Proax. Uh, and, and as you mentioned, I'm also drive certified. So I'm a drive part of the drive service partner team. I am certified on this particular drive, the ACS 580. Um, so we're qualified to do maintenance, repairs, startups and commissioning, so on. Um, but okay, get de delving into uh, Proax. Uh, Proax is a, cro is, is a national company, uh, Canadian owned. We have 14 locations coast to coast from Newfoundland to Vancouver, uh, multiple design and build shops that is for hardware design, uh, machine guarding uh, design and uh, SMC manifold manufacturing. Uh, we have three major distribution centers uh, in Ontario, Quebec, BC. Uh, I believe now it's over 200, we have 200 plus employees. Um, we began back in 1962, Taylor Controls, and now through acquisitions and just growth, uh, we're up to those 14 locations, as I mentioned earlier. We've, we're proud to announce that we have recently been uh, recertified as a great place to work. So this is a, something we're very proud of that was um, a survey done to all of the employees of the company anonymously and with all the feedback given to this third party. Uh, we have been certified yet again, just very recently within the last month, uh, again, as a great place to work. So we're very, very proud of that. Um, we've got uh, many technical employees at Proax, and we take pride in that. We've got a great sales force as well, but being on, on the technical team, um, I'm proud to say that uh, you've got a great team, great resources at your fingertips to help you design, troubleshoot, and so on, uh, any of your system requirements and needs. As I said, there's four build facilities uh, we have across the country. We've got a, an innovative product solution lab uh, where we can do proof of concepts. Uh, if you have an idea, design that uh, you'd like us to prove, help you prove, uh, we've got labs, technical expertise, product uh, to put that together for you. Uh, we have this manifold lab that we have in several locations across the country where we can put together uh, SMC manifolds, we design and build, chip out uh, these manifolds for you. Um, as I mentioned, the proof of concept labs. And of course, with that, with all our technical expertise, uh, we can certainly um, invite you along or come to your place to give any, any technical product training on some of our, uh, any of our core vendors. And we've got a half a dozen, ABB being one of them. Um, we're, we're amongst the largest, if not the largest, distributor of these vendors uh, in Canada. On our website, you'll find a fantastic website, by the way, it, just, just hit up proax.ca and I think you'll be impressed with the search um, bar at the top, at the speed uh, at which it will find parts for you and shows you then across the country what our inventory is like, where, how much we have and where. Oh, that's a, a note for, uh, Priya, if you can have a look at that. I'm not sure what's happening with your screen, Priya. But anyhow, so our, screen, our, um, our website has a fantastic search feature uh, where you can quickly find parts and list price. Uh, if you sign up, you'll, you'll then have access online to your pricing. Uh, but you can certainly see list price on there very quickly of the products we have on hand. Um, there's chats available for any kind of help you would need. Uh, this is 24 seven, of course, we've got a new robot cell configurator. So if you want to choose a particular robot and then design a cell around it, some guarding, uh, you can do that all online as you can with the, with the SMC product, you can design and build your own um, manifolds online as well. That's our SMC e-tech we're very proud of as well as this robot configurator. So lots of help and, and, and sourcing available online um, as well as, uh, uh, the technical support that we have that we take a lot of pride in. 
So that's a little bit of a background on ProAx and on myself. Uh, Priya, I will hand it over to you to Thank uh, you very much. dig into the 580. Yeah, thank you very much, Doc. So I'm going to uh, start uh, with the presentation, uh, ACS overview and features. So, uh, yeah, so in, in this slide, uh, you, know, um, you know, going forward, I'm going I'm to talk about uh, different uh, types. Types 1, uh, which is IP20, and type 12, which is IP55. And uh, also, uh, we're going to talk about the commissioning side that, uh, you know, the primary setting, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, is there and as a system for the cost for the uh, for the drives, and also the, the you know how fast and efficient is would be the commissioning because of the the, the primary settings. Uh, the technology side uh, is comes uh, sensor vector control, which is a really uh, you know um, I would say it's, it's a latest technology, and uh, harmonic sides so it com comes with the you know uh, built-in shock, and you know I'm gonna talk about a bit. Uh, uh, you know the, the, the swinging chalk that you know we have the safety side also we have a uh, SDO built in I'm going to talk about it and the adaptive programming which is very important right so this is kind of a typical application usually we use ACS 580 um, actually this is more uh, application where we work uh, you know uh, with this product but but uh, now I'm going to talk about you know some application uh, going forward food and bev material handling, robbers and plastic agricultures, and uh, a lot of applications that, you know, we can, uh, going forward, I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, uh, so in this slide, I'm gonna talk about the keypad. So what's the, the, the advantage using the, the keypad uh, for 580? So this keypad uh, actually uh, supports 14 different languages. Uh, primary settings, which is very important, I mentioned before, uh, for example, if you're looking for, <clears throat> if for, this, for each application, uh, there is some primary settings uh, that, for example, um, uh, give you some ideas regarding the, uh, what uh, the possibilities there, uh, are, right? For example, okay, for, for example, um, uh, you, you know, um, for acceleration time, uh, give you some uh, ideas. For example, for this application, five second, ten second, and fifteen second, you can choose for it. For example, for that one. Uh, the other thing is very important here is, is uh, the kind of communication between PLC between PC and drive that comes with the USB cable. Uh, also, um, there is no uh, you don't need any hardware for uh, PC and drives. Just just there is this USB communication. There's a help help button that you know can you can uh, choose that help button and help you a lot to to find uh, whatever you are looking for. Yeah, you can store um, drive setting um, uh, uh, whatever that parameters that you have. You can save on the keypad, which is very important, and also you can transfer the parameters from from one drive to another. This is the advantage of using the keypad uh, 580. So this slide is very important. So this is a kind of, uh, you know, latest technology that we offer in uh, 580 actually is comes with that as a standard in 880 series. So th this keypad is a kind of Bluetooth keypad. And uh, the, the advantage is you, you will have a, a kind of, a, a, you know, the app uh, you can install your, your, uh, on your phone. And uh, with this app, uh, you can communicate with uh, via Bluetooth to your to your keypad. So whatever you have on your keypad, you can have on your cell phone. So all the parameters that you have access, maintenance side, that uh, you know, pretty much everything that uh, you have uh, on the keypad, you you can use it on the cell phone. So this helps you that you know this kind of uh, you know save a lot of time and money and kind of cable, um, um, you know, free uh, uh, communication and uh, from the safety standpoint also is very good. Um, uh, actually, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the, you know, the, the IOs here. There are two um, um, control uh, units that come for the, comes with the, you know, for different, uh, you know, frames. 
uh, and uh, the good thing is for ABB, we uh, cover a lot of IOTs. So two analog inputs, two analog outputs, six digital inputs, safe torque off uh, is built in, and uh, three uh, relay uh, outputs and uh, RS485. So uh, come, you know, going forward, I'm going to compare uh, our drive with the comparators. You can see that, uh, uh, you know, that's uh, really a good amount of IOs than compared to our comparators. And uh, all, all of these, uh, you know, IOs are built in. And the other thing is in this slide, you can see that uh, the, uh, yeah, the, you know, uh, color codes that we have for the connectors. So this is going to make your life easier to communicate uh, with, the, with the IOs because everyone, every, you know, single uh, connectors come with the different colors. <clears throat> so um, type 12. So type 12, um, um, the, the good thing of type, type 12 is uh, almost the same size with type 1. Uh, high power density and you know also uh, if you remove the keypad uh, uh, you know this you have you will have the same protection updated uh, choke technology you, you have in type 12 also very light and robots uh, so because of the, the technology you can uh, you know install them the, the drive closer to the motor and you can save a lot of, uh, you know, cost and, you know, money and, uh, you know, uh, also time. So is is really, uh, you know, com again, compared to our competitors, is really at, from the foot, footprint standpoint, is very small and very uh, uh, robust. So uh, in this slide, I want to just give you a kind of idea what's a menu, uh, what we have in our menu in, in the keypad. So um, uh, I talk about the primary setting, which is, uh, you know, important, gives you some idea about the parameters that we have on the, on the menu. And uh, there is a uh, most uh, common use setting is there. Uh, so that is, com comes with the assistant embedded menu, really, really easy to uh, configuration. From the iOS standpoint, uh, you know, one menu all shows all the IOs, which is very important. So compared to the comparators, you know, I see limited, uh, you know, uh, comparators has the same side, the same thing. Uh, so functions uh, controlled by each terminals, uh, you know, for so give you the idea of, uh, of each IOs, uh, um, you know, uh, what assigned to each IOs. So you can see what, what each IOs, uh, you know, separately. Uh, regarding the energy efficiency, that's uh, that's a unique uh, um, capabilities that we have in ABB, and I, uh, I haven't seen anything in, on the on the comparator side. So shows energy, uh, you know, uh, also um, you know CO2 emission savings, uh, kilowatt hour counters hourly and daily, and uh, you know. Um, totally different so consume kilowatts of power pulse output connection also so uh, compared to uh, to comparators uh, a lot of features for the energy efficiency um, um, sorry yes sorry so uh, from the uh, <coughs> uh, diagnosis tools uh, standpoint there is a, a question mark uh, button on the keypad that uh, you know help you to to go to see what's going on on the drive. So these uh, these items are compared 550 to 580 promoted a lot. Uh, for example, if you have a fault on 550, they show you what the fault is. But here, they, they show you what the possibilities uh, of the fault, right? So you can also, you can see amplitude, peak, value, event logger, and also you can track uh, of the occurred problem. So this is very important. You can see what, what the problem happened, right? So this is kind of overview uh, on the, you know, what we have on the menu on the keypad. So um, I'm gonna I, I talk about the, the interface before. This is kind of, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna talk about the PC tool and going forward also connectivity. Here is a, a little bit uh, talk about of the programming. So 
lot of the programming is, is uh, you know, can use to add some additional logic functions, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, you want to connect uh, your PC tool to your uh, computer. So out of your programming also can be enabled and or disabled with the drive primaries. This is something that's kind of, uh, you know, give you some additional logic functions. And, uh, you know, you can use, uh, um, you know, in the um, composer uh, slide, I'm going to talk about it uh, going forward. So again, this slide shows what, what uh, kind of uh, keypad we offer um, right now. So uh, ACS 580 come with the ACS AP-S, uh, which is that comes at the standard one. There's another uh, keypad which uh, you know used to use for ACS 880, ACS AP-I. Another keypad that we, we talk about it uh, earlier is uh, the Bluetooth keypad that you, know, you can uh, is not is an option for ACS 580. Uh, there there is a keypad uh, that used for the Daisy Chain multiple uh, drives. Uh, the name of CDPI-01, and the kind of blank uh, keypads to, to to cover the you know the, the, the space. Also, the uh, you know the, there is two mounting kits. Here, uh, IP54 and IP65. Uh, for depends on the application, you can choose uh, you know one of them. Uh, use, usually, we use DPMP-EXT, which is IP65. Uh, and in, you know the mounting. You know what the mounting key is. So sometimes you have the the drive in the panel, and you want to have the keypad on the on the panel, so you don't have to open the panel and all the time and you know work with the keypad. So in this slide, uh, just want to talk about um, the option uh, cards that we offer for 580. For example, C uh, O um, C M O. OD-01 comes with a 24 volt DC, two relay output, one, delay, one digital output, right? So uh, if you need more, um, you know, additional uh, input out, output or, or whatever, we have some some option cards uh, that, you know, can help you to, to add some IOs to, to your drive. The other one, CMOD-2, comes with a 24 volt uh, DC, again, uh, isolated PTC. Uh, CPTC-02 come with the PTC and 24 volt, and the other one, six digital input and two relay outputs. So the, the good things for the um, IO uh, cards is really easy to install, and uh, uh, you know, compared to comparators, uh, you know, uh, the, the, from, from the you know, installation standpoint, it's really easy to configure and you know, install. <coughs> So connectivity, um, the ACS 580 comes with the uh, mode bus RTU, um, and uh, but you know for the other connectivities we have uh, option cards. So for Ethernet, IP, Ethercat, Profibus, Profinet, Controlnet, Canopen, DeviceNet, PowerLink, and the other things uh, we have uh, option cards you can add to the uh, you know uh, to drive and you can. Uh, use that connectivity for if you have any application with the other PLCs and you need other connectivities, definitely you can use these cards. Okay, so um, on 580, uh, actually, you know, in 80 series, we have a PC2, it's a name of uh, Drive Composer. In 550, we have a window light, which was not free, but the good things in 580 is, uh, Drive Composer is free, and uh, but Drive Composer Pro is not. Compared to Composer uh, Drive Composer to Composer Pro, uh, I would say ninety percent is is the same. So, for example, <coughs> in Drive Composer, uh, you can uh, have access to the parameters, event loggers, for example, backup restores. And you can register drive, you can create service report, 
and uh, lots of uh, you know capabilities for draft composer in, easy to use and uh, again you have adaptive programming in draft composer that helps you to you know uh, to create some functions uh, separately in the difference in draft composer pro is a little bit more advanced for some specific application, for example, you need if you need any safety setting, for example, we, we don't have Indraft draft composer, we have in draft composer pro. Also, for example, amplitude logger we have. Uh, so um, in draft composer, we have diagrams, but up to eight. But if you wanna um, use uh, more diagrams in draft composer, we, we can use more diagrams. Also, some uh, other things which is very important and this, which is nice is Draft Composer is you have you can compare uh, the drive data in Draft Composer Pro, and uh, you know this is going to be really useful sometimes. The other thing is called configuration adapter comes with the uh, two USB cables, so you can um, uh, transfer the data from your Drive Composer to your um, drive even when the drive is off, right? So. Based on that, you, you can use this device and you know transfer all the data from your PC tool to your actually your drive. So um, we talk about uh, some stuff before that. You want to talk about the installation, the commissioning. So how easy is uh, the installation and the commissioning? Uh, for example, there is a color coding for each terminal. So you can see that's the difference. That you don't make a mistake. Uh, it comes with a flange mounting uh, and also a standard mounting. Very, very smart, uh, uh, small uh, sorry, footprint compared to 550s, almost the same, even sometimes smaller. Uh, also type 12 uh, is really uh, small compared to type one is almost the same size. So uh, the commissioning, you know, commissioning side really consistent primary structure we have embedded as since I talked to you about this before, and uh, also PC tool that can help you to to commission, uh, you know, the drive very easily. And uh, the the other thing is essential features. Essential features. Uh, I'm going to talk about it uh, in you know in the other slides. So when you have uh, most of the essential features built in, um, you don't have to order some uh, IOs or some other uh, you know, uh, things to install the drive. For example, you have the safety, you have enough IOs, and uh, it's gonna be enough for you, it's gonna make your life easy when you want to commission the drive. So yeah, I'm gonna do a kind of comparison between 580 and 550 here. Mm, it's gonna be in this slide, yeah. So uh, um, from the, the size standpoints, you know, 580 comes to you know very compact, both both of them, right? 580 uh, up to 700 HP and uh, 550 500 HP. Built-in uh, EMC for both, right? Swinging choke for both is a new technology. Swinging choke is a kind of DC choke that's uh, um, have more 25% uh, more accurate and efficiency than the regular chokes that you know compared to competitors is a new technology. Uh, brake chopper um, to 550 is 23 amp, and the, for the other one is uh, the 580 comes to 40 45 amp. Um, Assist and operator panel uh, is a new technology for 580. Vector control, both of them, the, the safety is some point which is important. Safe to talk off is built in 580, but 550 is, is optional. The PC tool is drive window light, which is not free, but the uh, I mentioned that drive composer that is compared to Composer Pro, 90% uh, is the same, is, uh, is free. And uh, Bluetooth keypad that we don't have in 550. And uh, it's, uh, again, it comes with the five. You, there's optional uh, card, optional keypads for 580. <clears throat> so uh, you can see that uh, you know 550, and you know there's a comparison for the you know the size here. Uh, so the the uh, this one, the the upper one is a 550, and the lower one is 580. So you can, for example, you can see 
uh, here that uh, some uh, uh, you know frames divided to two frames, which is good, right? So for example, like four HP to seventy-five HP. Uh, you know, we have two frames here. Also for the R five and R six, we have three frames, and uh, almost the size is the same. You know, then for the ACS uh, 550 existing users, uh, I would say you don't have any problem if you want to switch to 580. And uh, I'm going to talk about the 550 at the end that, you know, is going to be in classic mode. And, you know, it's better to, if everyone using 550 to switch to 580. So the size you can see, you don't have uh, any problem. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, come, you know, compare our drives with uh, some of the features uh, with our competitors here. Uh, so uh, in Oracle Automation, uh, with industrial drive, uh, you and you know, we, actually we can't compare our uh, uh, this drive with our, our ACS 880 is 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 different. So it's you know, you can't compare it 550 with 880. 880 is a super industrial drive. But 5753, uh, I would say, PowerFlex 753 is, uh, you know, the best general purpose drive uh, for Allen Bradley. I'm going to compare uh, this, uh, this drive with our ACS 580 in the features in a few slides. So, uh, let me go to the next slide. Yeah, so, so first uh, I want to talk about type 1, which is IP20. The size uh, is almost the same. So I do some of some sizes, uh, you know, a little bit smaller, some sizes a little bit larger. So I didn't put that slide because almost the same. For, but the difference is type 12. So if you want to go uh, type 12, IP55, you I compared the, the, the footprint here, and you can see that uh, the difference, right? So it's huge. So almost almost double for some sizes. So if you and and you know sometimes you can save money on on the panel, but sometimes you don't have a space, right? And and you have to put the drive in the the existing space, right? So definitely there is a huge difference here, yeah, and you can see that uh, from the size. Okay, so. This slide, I want to talk about the IOS uh, comparison uh, between 580 and uh, PowerFlex. So as I mentioned before, 580, we have two analog inputs, two analog outputs, six digital inputs, three relays outputs. Uh, comes with the uh, mode bus built-in, RTU, and we have STO built-in. Uh, also, uh, color terminal and the Bluetooth keypad, which save, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of cable-free communication, arc flash risk, uh, you know, remove that uh, arc flash risk. Uh, but, you know, PowerFlex, you have three digital inputs, one relay output, one transistor output, one analog input, one analog output, and one PTC input. Uh, you know, you can compare that, you can see that uh, we have more IOs here. STO is option, and uh, if you want to get the STO, you want to buy, you have to buy the, the option cards yeah, for the, also limited option for the IOs. Um, the other thing is uh, when you want to install the internal, uh, you know, the, the option cards, you have to, you know, uh, change the jumper before the installation of the option cards. And, uh, you know, it's not that easy compared to uh, ABB. So it was a kind of uh, give you some ideas uh, regarding the, the IOs. So uh, um, in this slide, just want to talk about the, you know, if you remember, we talk about the energy uh, consumptions that, you know, we had on the keypad. So there is a, in 580, there is an energy optimizer. Uh, you can uh, see, for example, the maximum torque per amp. Uh, it's going to be, you can see the, uh, you know, the, you know, the, this is going to be reduced energy for you, definitely. Uh, 580 going to fulfill highest drive energy efficiency class, that's, which is really important. Um, and the cooling fan. Cooling fan is, is awesome, right? So the cooling fans work when, uh, when needed. You save a lot of energy here. But on on uh, PowerFlex, no energy optimization. So the monitor just shows total amount of energy, 
there is no info for efficiency class definitely and the fan is works when the drive is running so when the drive is running all, all the time fan is working and uh, you know this is you know in this world that that energy saving is really really important these options can help you to save you know money here so um, the other thing is um, uh, when you know we want to compare uh, some uh, items here in the powerful and 580 when you want to just order a drive uh, for 580 whatever you need you have built in in 580 you don't have to order like more ios most of the time 95 percent i would say and uh, you have sto built in and um, for example, you don't have to add a lot of options. When you add options to, to your drive, the delivery time will increase, everyone knows. And uh, the ordering uh, gonna delay, you're gonna have delay in ordering. But uh, for example, in PowerFlex, you have STO and uh, expanded IOs uh, optional. So this gonna, uh, this gonna slow down the ordering. And uh, the, compared to the delivery, uh, from my experience, that ABB, ABB has very fast delivery. Um, and you know, compared to uh, Alam Rally, definitely is better. So, uh, so the idea is here is, uh, for example, you want to order a drive, and you want to plus a lot of options to it, to increase the order time, the, the delivery time. This is, the, this is um, you know, we have uh, everything on, on 580. We don't have to uh, you know, add a lot of options. So the order time is gonna decrease a lot. So um, here uh, I wanna talk about the, you know, compare the harmonic side of, uh, you, know, it, you know, from the, from the, this is some point. So in, in 580 comes with the swinging choke, which is a uh, new technology. Uh, compared to Fireflex, which comes with the DC DC link choke, and uh, you know, in, in Fireflex, AC input choke is uh, um, also um, optional. The EMC filter is built in in uh, all of them in in both, and um, also the cable. Uh, I'm going to talk about the cable. Uh, you know. Um, size that you you know we can use so, so in powerflex is uh, three meter to 150 meter uh, actually i spoke to abb product manager uh, yesterday uh, to make sure i'm giving you the right uh, information but they said for specific applications and uh, if you follow uh, the instructions in the manual and if you have um, the right motor and you have the right cable you can have the cable lengths with uh, you know up to 300 meter without DVDT filter, which is awesome. I haven't seen something like this before in my life. So really, really, uh, you know, interesting that you know if you follow all the rules and you know you have the right motor and cables for a specific applications. For most of the application, you can you can go up to 300 meter. <clears throat> So um, again, this this is like want to talk about that how simple it is uh, to install this drive compared to PowerFlex. A lot of uh, installation videos and technical commissioning material is available for 580, but uh, compared to uh, Alam Rally, is like just few installation videos. Very flexible installation horizontally and vertically uh, for uh, you know 580 and. Uh, you know, uh, for PowerFlex side by side vertical mounting, I see that really um, compact and compared to um, 580, especially in the in type uh, type 12. Type 12 for, uh, for PowerFlex is uh, large, really large and heavy. Uh, so because uh, choke and filter sometimes is option for um, PowerFlex, you know, you need more space for that, and you know in um, 580 you don't have to uh, go for that uh, the, the warranty uh, 12 months uh, to 24 months from the delivery time of uh, ABB is really huge it's really very important um, 
and uh, you know you can extend your warranty if you like also the kind of you know there's a dynamic qr code generator for drive registering uh, for um, acs 580 as well so uh, here i just want to compare our keypad um, our keypad comes with the assistant control panel, really high contrast, primary setting is there, home view supports, energy efficiency, we talk about it. And, uh, you know, uh, same user interface for all ABB compatible drives. You know, sometimes you can use uh, one keypad for all of them. Um, but you know, here in, in PowerFlex, you have, uh, you know, LCD, HMI, uh, uh, and also sometimes, you know, you display just up to six lines. I'm not going, you know, a lot of information here, but just wanna uh, tell you that the difference is huge between the keypads. Again, so I believe that I show you that the part of this, uh, you know, slides that the full print is really, really different between uh, type 12. So uh, I'm going to compare um, a drive with, uh, you know, Altivar uh, 600, which is the, you know, the best general purpose drive for Schneider Electric here. And uh, see what's going on here. So um, the, the range, you can see that we, our drives comes one, one to 700 HP, uh, but, but, you know, in Schneider HP is come to 400. So general, our general purpose drives, cover all the, uh, you know, different industries. So I would say really general purpose. You know, for um, Schneider, uh, usually um, I would say they focus on the fan, uh, on the, sorry, pump application. Um, this is uh, that, you know, Altivar G600 usually used for this application for pump application. Um, uh, IP21 uh, and IP55 in 580 is almost uh, the same, but uh, in um, Schneider, uh, larger than 55 kilowatts is really, really large and, and heavy, especially for uh, IP55. Uh, so yeah, I can show the next slide and can show you the, the difference footprint here. Yeah, so you can see the difference here. It's more than doubles. The size is is huge. It's, you can't compare even some some sizes here. And I know that's uh, how important when when you have a you wanna you wanna replace some drives and uh, you don't have space. So uh, here I, uh, two slides, two three slides compare uh, Yaskawa with ACS five eighty. Uh, I'm gonna uh, compare AC uh, ACS 580 with uh, A1000, which is uh, you know the best general purpose drive for a scuba here. I'm gonna pass this slide. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, in, in this slide, I just wanna um, compare from the harmonics, the mitigation of uh, the harmonics in, in 580 is, is excellent, right? So the, because of the swinging chalk. Again, flexible installation. And uh, in Yoskawa, there's a DC, DC chuck uh, built in uh, over 22 kilowatts. In size, uh, you want to compare Yoskawa really heavy and large. The warranty is uh, uh, one year warranty, and uh, we have uh, 24 months I mentioned from the delivery. Uh, and let me go to the next slide. Yeah, here, here I'm gonna uh, compare, um, you know, the LCD, the, um, again, uh, the keypad, a seats and control panel. We cover 13 languages. Uh, Yaskawa comes with the, um, you know, eight languages. Primary setting we have, uh, they don't have. And very easy to, uh, to uh, navigate and is not there. And, uh, energy efficiency, we talk about it, and there's no energy efficiency on the drive side. And this is the uh, the comparison of the size. You can see how the the size is uh, is different here. Also, you know the size is really important sometimes. Yeah, so um, 
I'm, you know, I'm in five minutes, I'm going to finish here, but I uh, just want to talk about the uh, ABB ability that maybe some of them, some of you guys know about ABB ability and uh, how we can uh, save uh, time and money for you if you want to for the maintenance side of the business. So there are some application which is really critical. There are some drives which is very, you know, large and you need uh, to monitor these drives. And, uh, you know, going forward in this situation, uh, we understand that how important is when you want to work from home and you want to see what's going on in the plant. So that's why there is a condition monitoring program for, um, for drive that covers actually also ACS 550, 580 and 880, the, the, also the older drives. So you can uh, uh, communicate with you, you know, the, the, how the, it works is this, is, this is shows that what you see when you have a condition monitoring. The, the green side is the, the, the side that the drive is working properly. The, the yellow side is uh, you, the to tolerable uh, uh, faults and the red side is something that there is a serious problem. To show you the condition of the, the drives, uh, you can add, have a couple of drives uh, connected to the system. Uh, for one uh, device, I would say seven drives, you can add to the system. And how it works is uh, you connect your uh, drive through um, a NITA21, which is a hardware, and uh, there would be the information on the cloud. So everyone, based on the application, based on the uh, you know customer expectation, you know different people can have access to the uh, information, the customer, even uh, the supplier, ProAx Canada, ProAx, uh, sorry, ABB Canada and ABB also in Finland have access to the information. So um, this was a kind of a last slide. Uh, uh, the other, the last thing is why ProAx, ProAx is national automation distributor, technical support for it for drive, you have six, seven people. Uh, that they are uh, certified with ABB uh, for the drive commissioning installation. A uh, lot of training is going on here. Very quickly, time price has uh, lots of inventory over some, I would say, $8 million inventory. Uh, and uh, online purchasing, the website is awesome. You can use website, see inventories, you can order uh, any, any stuff. Quality products, ABB, you know, that's a $45 billion company. And you know, if you go to Europe, you can see the difference between ABB and, and Allenberg. So I was in front of a trade show. It's a city. It's like you know, 45 billion compared to 4 billion. is uh, is huge. And uh, you know, innovative solution provider. And uh, you know, we we have designed a bit. You know, Doc uh, talked about it. The last thing I want to mention to you is. Uh, uh, you know, a, I spoke to ABB, and everyone knows for for the existing ACS 550 users that a ACS 550 is going to be in classic mode soon, right? So I would say sometimes next year. And uh, when they're going to change the, the situation to classic mode, uh, the price is going to increase and uh, the inventory uh, would be limited. So uh, I really recommend that uh, if you are using any ACS 550, we can uh, just reach out to us and you know we can help you to migrate to 580 you you can see that you know what you can get is better technology size everything is is better and uh, really um, you know you don't have to worry about the uh, you know uh, because because it's a new technology just released in 2018 so if you have any question just uh, you know um, please let me know and uh, you know um, i would say uh, we have Doc Critch and Joe Zhu on the line. They can help you if you have any technical question. Thank you very much. Um, Priya, I'm going to read out some of the questions that came up uh, before. Uh, okay. There was a question that was asked, uh, let me see. Um, does the drive operate without a keypad uh, once set up? And the answer was yes, definitely yes. yes. And as long as there's no speed reference or control signals are assigned to the keypad. Uh, so that was one of the questions and the answer was uh, sent on the chat. Then the next question was, uh, uh, 
Uh, I can use, uh, can I use the keypad to carry parameters from drive to drive and then take it away so, uh, so long as it doesn't require the key, uh, keypad data? And uh, yes, that was also yes, yes, uh, yes. yes. So, yes and exactly. then there was another question, which speed uh, signal takes priority? Keypad external reference, zero to 10 volts external or four to, 10, uh, four to 20 milliamp network communication signal? Or are they selectable? And the answer was, uh, it, it, it all depends on the programming. Um, one speed, it has only one speed reference source at a, at a time, it's, but it's switchable. Uh, but there's only one which is programmed based on the conditions. So uh, once again, the answers are on the chat. Um, then there was a question about pricing. Uh, is it the pricing similar to the to 550? And the answer was yes. And uh, then there was another question asked, is there a guide for room airflow requirements for this drive? Uh, so yes, there's something on the um, hardware manual for heat dissipation, room airflow. It depends on the room uh, airflow, environmental the temperature, etc but that calculation can be done and there is something on the hardware manual giving guidance. Okay, I'm gonna just check to see if there's any more chats, any more questions. Uh, no more questions, a any other questions, feel free to pop in, uh, write in. Uh, Puriya, did you put your email address on the first, first flyer? You did, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. So, uh, yes, so so yeah, I'm I'm gonna uh, go back to. I have uh, yeah, my email address here. Right? So let me just go back to the first uh, slide. I need to go back to the last slide again, Priya, just to talk about the coming. Training. Yes, so we have we have the same one in the in the in the beginning too, right? Yes. So so, so this is the, this is the upcoming uh, um, you know training. You got you if you wanna just. Sure, yeah, so on Wednesday, we have a training on predictive maintenance and on that's May 20th and on Friday. So we have trainings both on Wednesdays and Fridays at the same time at one o'clock. And on Friday, May 22nd, we have new products and overview on Oriental uh, Motors. Uh, then on Wednesday, the 27th, we have Omron SQL and traceability. And on, on Friday, we'll be doing it again on the new products and overview on Oriental Motors. So this is my, uh, my email here and my cell phone. If you need any, any, uh, you know, I can provide any help or support, or uh, you have any question, please email me or call me, and uh, you know, we can we try to help you as much as we can. So, is there any other okay, questions? No, there's no other questions. So thank you for participating, and hope uh, you all will join us uh, over the next few weeks as well. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.